Hey guys, what's going on? Somebody Jimp here. Today, I'm going to be doing a What's in My Baseball Bag video. I am such noob, actually. I was just watching Gus Maggio. Or, um, hey, Gus is, I think he changed his name. I was watching it in school on my computer. And now I have the idea to do one of my own. So, he's probably going to talk about this tomorrow, if he sees it. Because, like, me um, and my friends, we, or me, Pat567, five, five, six, five, five, six, DeMarco, did a gum challenge and a um, warhead challenge with this other kid. You don't know who he is because he doesn't have a YouTube channel, but his name's Luke. And basically, I uploaded it, and it's not on YouTube. I don't know what it is. I think it's one of those glitches where you have to, like, re-upload it. I don't know. But if I have to, whatever. Okay, so today I'm doing what's in my bag challenge. Or, not challenge. What's in my bag. I'm thinking of what's in my mouth. That's why I'm saying what's in my mouth ch like challenge. Okay, so it's what's in my bag. 2016. Okay, so. I guess I'll start off with the bag itself. Like what I use as my baseball bag. I'm going to take out the bats first. Because I don't think the bats. We need to see just that. We have two big barrels and two small barrels that I'm going to show you. There's four in total. Okay, so here, this is the bag. It's the it's my team color, by the way, too, so it's a Marucci. Unfortunately, I don't have any Marucci bats, so yeah, it's a Marucci bag. So let's start off with what's in the inside. Straight off the bat, when you go into my um, helmet or my thing, you get my helmet. So, take it off. Bang goes. This is my helmet. It's a uh, Easton, or yeah, Easton. It's got some scrape marks on it. Um, yeah, but there's no pine tar on this, so it's like. I get pretty good in the inside. Um, this, these two parts have broken off. I can see, so it's pretty old. It's actually not that old. My other one was really old. I hated it, but nah. That's my helmet. I have my batting gloves. These are actually catching gloves. Um, because they have the thumb pad in them, like the thumb pad. That's. If you look at the whole glove, it's a thumb pad. Basically, that's what, like, helps you catch the ball easier. So that's the thumb pad. Um, but I use these on my batting gloves, too, because it's basically, like, having lizard skin on your batting gloves. So you don't need to put lizard skin on your, um, on your bat, because this actually gives you, like, a lot of space, like, through your hands and your bat, so that's why I like them. Next, I have my glove. Um, it's a... Very old glove. I've had this since. How long have I had this? Like, uh, since like, um, I'd say like Colt League, like in our league, um, or like where we live, like it's called Colt. That's when you're in like second grade. Like I'm, I'm gonna say like seven or eight years old. I've had this since I was seven or eight. So. Yeah, it's very old, but it has our team color in it, which is blue, so sweet. Honestly, I don't even know what brand this is, it's just a glove. I think it's, yeah, I see standout everywhere, so I guess it's a standout glove, I, I don't know. It has a Nike symbol on it that's tear it up and everything because of how old it is, but I still use it and it works pretty well. It's broken in a lot. Um, I just have a sweatshirt in here. Some garbage sandwich <laughs> uh, and yeah that's it so I guess we'll have to throw those away but yeah that's that now let's move on to the bats okay first off we'll start off with the one of the big barrels this is actually a wooden bat so this is it it's a I have to block out my name because it has my last name on it but as you can see, 
it has an engraved my name on it. So it says Nick with my last name on it, but I covered it up. Um, it's a pro model. Pro model. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it says custom made. And um, it's an Academa. I really like Academa. Certified. Um. Yeah, there was pine tar on it. Um, you can still kind of feel the pine tar, but there's no more pine tar on this bat anymore. I'll have to put more. I haven't used this bat in a long time, so that's probably why. But, but yeah, so that's... I guess we'll start off like with the two wig barrels. This is one of them. It's a big barrel. I believe it is a 32, I think. But, yeah. So that's that. Yeah. Now we have another big barrel. This is coming down from my brother. This is a, uh, I, I think it's an S1. This is a drop 10, so it's a 31. Uh, 3121, I believe. Or 3120, yeah, I think it's a 3120. Um, this is a very old bat. I don't use the size bat anymore. I use a much bigger bat. But, next, yeah, so this is that. Big barrel. Jesus. Easton, um, big barrel. I don't think I've used this on my travel team yet. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to use it because it's really good. Let me just take these bags over there. Uh, next up, we have my Mako, which is a very old Mako. Um, there are lots more um, versions out there now. Um, this is my bat when I used. I would say a year ago, so this was last year. It's a 30. Um, that was last year, though. <clears throat> now it's a, um, not my bat size of 32, but my bat size that he's right now is still a 31, but I'm gonna getting, I'm getting a 2016 Mako 32-inch, so, yeah. That's 30. It's a Mako orange color, as you can see. <sighs> if you can't see... Mako, very old, but it's battered up. I hit two home runs with this bat last year in my little league. So, ah. so yeah, I think it's lost pop. I think it's broken, too. I don't know. This is my current bat that I'm using. Or, like, this is what I use. This is, like, what I'll grab before I go to every at-bat. It is the Easton XL1. Com fully composite, as most of these are. No. Has two of these, so these two are fully composite. This one, I hate them. They go dang when you hit them, so that's what I hate about them. So, yeah, that's this is this bat. I love this bat. It's a 3121, so it's a little bit bigger. I can still swing this very, like, very quickly, so I'm getting an even bigger bat. Um, well, I haven't ordered it yet, my um. Dad's trying to figure out like how to order it. Well, he's not, he's not trying to figure out how to order it. He just like it. It won't place in his order. Like we already ordered it, but it won't place it in. So we just keep trying until it orders. But yeah. So XL one. Oh yeah! Finally found out what this bat was. It's not an S one. It's an S three. As you can see right there, S three. So, finally found out what that was. But this bat is so good. I love it. Uh, my brother actually used this bat in his Little League two years ago. And he hit two home runs with it as well. Um, I've gotten close to hitting a home run with this bat in my Little League, but not yet. I will. But not yet. <coughs> and, yeah. One thing I like about both these bats are... I don't know why, but it's, it's always with the composite bats. There's always the CXN grip. Like, well, not grip, but, like, the, um, where it takes the barrel to, like, the handle. That's what I like about these bats. Like, these both, both of these bats have the CXN on them, as you can see, right there. CXN. That's what I really like about these bats. So, yeah. Four bats that I have, um... These two, no. These two, I don't take to games anymore because I don't use them. 
Um, I only use this in my 50-70 league, which I'm actually not playing in. Um, and in the batting cages. And this is, I, I think it's broken, so I don't use it. I don't want to break it anymore. So I'm just going to have a professional tell me. These are what I take to games. Big barrel and, yeah, so XL1 and S3, so. Eh. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. My phone's in my charger right now, so I can't actually take you off. But, yeah, so that's all my stuff. My sandwich and wrapper over there. So, thank you guys for watching. Do I have pink eye? Shoot. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Um, and yeah, hopefully this, up, uh, this will upload. If it does, it'll be great. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace.